Hey everyone, it's time to Nefes and Chill, and in this video I'll be showing you the two new homes coming out uh, with Update 34, otherwise known as the High Isle Chapter for the year 2022. First we'll have an in-room, the typical free in-room that you get once you uh, reach the initial chapter zone or part of the zone in Gonfalon Bay. And of course the notable house, or the new notable, notable house coming out um, called High Hollow Hold. As always, I'm not sure what the uh, prices will be because we are on the public test server and uh, the public test server does not show the actual prices of each house. Uh, of course, the in-room will be free. All right, and joining me today is going to be Strange and Tempt. We're going to be looking into this ancient anchor bird together. You guys ready? Indeed. Okay, Indeed let, let's, see, let's see what this beautiful... Oh, look at that. Look at the sunlight on this loading screen. Ooh. Ooh. Is that ray tracing? <laughs> okay, RTX on. <laughs> okay, and then here's the actual in room. <laughs> Cozy. Cozy. <laughs> Where's the sunlight? Minimalist. <laughs> Alright, we got debated, guys. Where's the sunlight? Do you think you can have a party in here? I think you can have enough. Yes. I like Four how, people, right? I like how there's only like one light source. <laughs> it's not even like a lantern like being held up in the ceiling or anything. It's just it's in the corner. It's kinda sad, dude. Well, for performance reasons, I okay. think this is quite, why, quite apt. Why can't they have natural light coming through the windows or something? You know what I mean? Uh, I guess it's then if it's nighttime, then it's kind of tricky. That is true. But then I think aren't if... houses in like day and night cycles too? So it's kind of, I don't know. But yeah, that, that this is what you're going to be getting for free. <laughs> so I think in a future update, they might update the windows to be opened. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I'm going to go to the next house, the last house. High Hollow Hold. Hello, uh, how, how? This looks more promising. It's a notable home, meaning at the moment if you have an ESO Plus membership. What is it, 700 slots? Yeah. Um, here we go. This is the first floor. This is the first floor. High Hollow Hold. So there's a wing. We got some sort of like Harry Potter staircase going on here. I like this Harry Potter yeah, staircase. Cool. Really? Another Harry Potter staircase. You can live under there. You can keep two children in there, Pog, dude. <laughs> and we have two flights of stairs, one in the middle portion of the house, and just a quick note, there's only, what, two exits? No, there's only one exit, one entrance, one exit, okay. And then the other staircase on the left wing or right wing of the house. With windows, I really don't like the wall. Like, what? You know what I mean? Look at this. It's like mold and shit growing on the walls or something. It adds atmosphere. Oh, yes, it adds bread and charm, mold, medieval, yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it adds some right. nice roaches in there, too. So we're on the second floor here, and nice fireplace. And this is There's a central, sunlight central from the other side. portion. Um, just want to make sure that we're not missing anything here. Lots of... Oh, there's a another s flight of stairs. Oh, what? Oh, this is separated from the main hall. Look. Interesting. And interesting architecture choice. It is a nice design. I like the layout of it. It's like wraps all over. There's the a basement and there's another exit. I do agree. I do like the Harry Potter aesthetics. So there's a first floor courtyard. I think it's the first floor. There's a second floor. I'm so confused. I think there's a second floor. Yeah, because that looks really nice. this is a courtyard. Yeah, it looks really nice and during the sunset. I came here earlier during the nighttime, and it was like, meh. But during the sunset, look at that. I like the way it bleeds through. It's pretty nice, yeah. But this is the main feature of the house. Just a Breton courtyard. I wonder if we could go on top of that. Can you jump there. off of it and go into the city from there, or is it... No, the city, the city is walled off by a barrier, I'm pretty sure. Here, let me, let me try. Or maybe you'll die, honestly. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I can... I'm, I'm gonna have to do it on diet or something, I can't fit through that. <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Cut down on the carbs, Nephis. Um, there's another kind of area here. Yeah, there's a barrier. I think He's that barrier down has... The, that's the city, that's the rest of Gonfalon Bay. Ah, uh, right. And here's the door we saw earlier, the main hall. That will lead us back into the second floor. 
And then we can just go straight up the stairs. And this is, I think, the third floor. And then there's a fourth floor over here. And on the fourth floor, there's two balconies and one, uh, I don't know to call it, like, attic? Roof opening? Widow's walk. Hmm. Let's go to the north balcony. Yeah, Widow's walk. Nice balcony view. Not bad, overlooking the courtyard. This is towards the north. And if you look at the map, I'm pretty sure it is actually facing north. <laughs> so that's a nice tip, uh, detail. South balcony is facing the south towards the city. And um, I, I'm pretty, like, pretty cool view. I mean, there's a pretty nice. All right, now let's I'm go I'm wondering to... if the north, we are able to go to the courtyard from the top or not. Maybe. So the Widow's Walk. I mean, this is Widow's Walk. Um, it's a cool little spot. Oh, 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 we we can, oh. we can. Wait, what? How okay, that's a different spot. It's a whole other ledge. It's actually pretty. I cool. can't jump down. If we can roof surf, this is uh, huh? I cannot jump down. Secret locations. Let's go explore again. One more time, and then, yeah, that'll be it. What do you guys think about this house so far? I, uh, I like the I'm courtyard. I'm liking the courtyard. Yeah, yeah, but I don't like the inside. The inside, maybe if they... Uh, the layout yeah. of it looks like it has, like, room to do a lot with it. You'd probably have to, like, reskin with, like, different uh, rugs and whatnot to make it look a little bit better, but I think mm. with the way it has it laid out for the rooms, and it's, like, pretty open but it doesn't have like too many rooms where you need a lot of uh, furnishings to fill it up and we have 700 slots with ASO plus so. architecturally speaking what is the point of this is this the will's walk <laughs> like, you know what I mean like what was the point of this I think private, that is private balcony under construction for you to overlook perhaps uh, maybe yeah, someone fell off and the team with those walk. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll so see you guys next time. <laughs> what do you guys think about these houses? Let me know down in the comments below.